We call it the morning report. So he, as soon as he's off the chain, there's a couple of zoomies around the house, patrols the boundary, checks everything, you know, probably checks the water points and goes down for a bit of a water report on the river and comes back. But after that, he's, uh, he's usually pretty placid and spends most of his time at our feet or on a lounge, somewhere comfy. He was a pup for a very small moment in life and has just got bigger and bigger ever since. Interesting characteristics of the barn is that he just has a joy of life. A bit like a goldfish, every day is a new day and even if he gets put on the chain or put banished, banished because of bad behaviour, um, it's all instantly forgotten as soon as he comes back to join us. But if Barney was a human, I think he'd be a, probably a 15-year-old surfer dude. He'd probably be a crap surfer, um, never catch a decent wave, work in a fish and chip shop around the corner, be everybody's lovable mate. He'd pull the chips and uh, be next to useless but live a large life. He's the Houdini of chains and dog collars. We've gone through a mountain of collars and chains and catches over the years that he uh, he only stays on the chain if he really feels like being there, which is not often. Uh, Barney's taught me to be patient. He's taught me to laugh at myself and laugh at him in the process. Dogs are important for so many reasons. I think they, I think they're the glue that brings brings a family or a household together. They give you an excuse to laugh, to curse. I think they allow you to talk to yourself when nobody's listening. Um, gives you a good excuse to be a bit mad around the edges. Life here would be really boring without him. That said, he brings out all emotions in our family regularly, but um, we wouldn't have that any other way.